Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tarver Academy YouTube channel. My name is Tyler. If you don't subscribe, so help me, that's okay. But it's free. You should do it. It's red. Okay, so let's get started. Today, I want to show you how to do a live YouTube video, how to go live on YouTube via your phone. So the first thing you need to do is have the YouTube app on your phone. So then you click the YouTube app, just like that. Hey, look, there's my channel. Okay, so whenever you get on there, this is your main channel, okay? So you'll see it. You see YouTube in the upper left. There is, um, if we're looking at the top, there's YouTube. There's a box with the three lines in it. That's if you want to airplay. You'll see a camera. Some of you guys might see a video camera with a plus sign. Uh, my other account has that. This one has a camera. Then you have the magnifying glass, which means search, and then should be your face in the upper right in a circle, and that will take you to your channel preferences. Okay, so let's click the camera at the top. See the camera up there next to the magnifying glass? Hit that. Now it's going to give us four options. I'm going to explain the options, and I'm going to show you what to do to go live. The first one is video. That's if you want to upload a video, or you can record a video and then post it as just a normal video. The second one is live. That's the one we're going to go to. This is if you want to have a live YouTube video, just like you would on Instagram Live, Facebook Live, all of that. Then you have story. Uh, this is not available to everybody. The story is not. It's something that YouTube rolled out. It's similar to Instagram stories or Snapchat. And then you have post. That's where I can put text or photos or both in the feed of my subscribers. So that's a post. You can also do polls and other stuff. That's not available to everyone either. You just have to have a certain subscriber count, but you should have live on there. So I'm going to hit live. Okay. New. Hold potentially inappropriate message for review. Well, that's cool. So whenever you have chat messages, you can hold them for review if YouTube thinks they might be inappropriate. I will definitely turn that on. Hey, there's me. What's up, guys? Tyler here. What's up, Tyler? Tyler Academy. Okay. So right here, I want to, I'm going to walk you through all of these settings and tell you like what to think as you do these. So create a title. This is, uh, you know, how to do a live YouTube video. Okay, that's just the title of your video. That's what's going to show up as the title. So I'm going to hit done. Next, public. This is important. If it's public, anyone can see it. And also, YouTube's going to push it to people that they think want to see it. So they're going to essentially advertise for you and try to spread your video if they think people want to see it. Um, unlisted means that no one can see it unless you give them the link. So if you're presenting to your class and it's live, you can do it as unlisted and then give your class the link to the video so that they can see it and no one else can just stumble upon it. It can be more restricted. So there's no sign in and your class can share that link, but let's do unlisted right now because I don't, this, I'm making the video. This is not the actual video. That didn't make sense, but you get me. You can also add a location. Let's say we're at a local pizza place. We'll say it's pizza. It's in Bryant. If you want to deliver me food, that'd be great. JK, but serious. Next, uh, YouTube has really cracked down on making videos for kids uh, because it's the law. And the problem is with advertisers, they don't want uh, advertisers to be able to market to kids. And uh, that's good. So you have to mark here that either, yes, it's made for kids or two, it's not made for kids. If you say it's made for kids, you can't get YouTube monetization off of it because you can't put ads on it. Um, next, do I want to restrict the video? Um, I don't, like, I'm not going to say anything bad in here. So I'm cool with people under 18 seeing it. Uh, then I can hit more options. Okay. From here, I can see my, I can schedule it to play live later. That's pretty cool. You can actually record the video. You just turn that on and then you pick when you want it to premiere. Uh, then I can do advanced settings, allow the chat. That's if you want the chat turned on for people to talk. I'm cool with that. Uh, the next option says this video contains paid promotion. Uh, I'm not being promoted, believe it or not, by anybody. This is free to you making it. So I'm not going to turn that on. That's like if you're doing like a brand deal. And then enable monetization. If you have that turned on, that means you can make money from people watching this. Okay? So uh, I'm going to hit next, and then it's going to get ready to go live. Okay? Now, most of the time when you go live, you do this, correct? If you're doing Instagram or anything else like that. See, this is about to do a thumbnail. There we go. That's not very good, but here we are. I can edit it. If I click that little edit button, I can actually upload. I can retake the photo. I'm good with it being what it is, but you can upload the photo beforehand so it's it's cleaner. So let's go live. Um, I can stream directly. This is called portrait. Or if I turn it sideways, it's going to automatically kick in 
and start recording. I'm not going to do that because for the sake of you watching this video, I'm going to keep it all in the correct format. But if all you had to do was turn it and it would have done that. So there you go. Okay. So now I'm live. Up here at the top, I can see how many people are currently in here. We have none because I made it unlisted and I did not share the link. The little thumbs up, that's how many people have liked it. You have options once you're in here. I can flip my screen around. See, there's my camera set up. Oh, I should have probably turned that light on. Lights are really important. See, look. See how much better that looks? Yeah, didn't think that one through, did I? Um, I can see the chat by clicking this. I can have options there. Most of you guys are just going to want top chat. That's where the important stuff pops to the top. Live chat means you just see everything as it comes in. Um, and then you got super chat. That's if you want to like have people pay to have their comments appear. Most of you guys, unless you're just like a big channel, then you're not going to have to worry about that. I can throw filters on it. Hey, looks, there we go. Blush. And then here I go. I can mute my mic. I can save. I can share. Um, if you're doing this for your class or if it's like for a group, a specific group and you're doing this, you can click share if it's unlisted, and then you can share the link to the unlisted video. So that's a good way to get this to just your class or just your people so that it's not broadcast for the world, but they can still click the link and find it and they can start jumping in and having a conversation. Okay. So now when I'm ready to end it, I'm going to click this X in the upper right hand corner and it's going to ask, are you sure you want to stop streaming? Yeah, let's stop it. And it's loading, finished. It's going to show my stats. I had nobody watch it because I didn't show anybody. And now it's going to start uploading. There's the one I uploaded a second ago. Um, it didn't work out because it didn't record audio to my screen. So that was fun. So thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer it. Or if you need me to make another video about doing this a different way, holler at your boy and I'll help out. Okay. Thank you guys so much. And y'all be good and never stop learning. Subscribe.